I don't think that Iranians have decided whether they want to declare that their goal is a nuclear weapon. What is clear is that Iranians are not interested simply in nuclear power. They want to have the ability to construct a nuclear weapon. Now here's the danger. The difference between a nuclear weapon capability and actually building a nuclear bomb is at best two weeks, which means that if we agree that the Iranians can have a nuclear weapon capability, in effect, we're saying it's okay if they develop a nuclear bomb. Wars in the Middle East aren't caused by oil, and they're not caused by water. Ultimately, wars are caused by overconfidence. The danger of Iran having a nuclear weapon is not only that the Revolutionary Guard units, the most ideological elements that would control the bomb, might actually decide one day to use it, but rather the Iranians would become so overconfident behind their own perceived nuclear deterrence that they could actually put into action all their rhetoric, closing the Strait of Hormuz, creating insurgencies in Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, Syria, exporting revolution. And so when it comes to Europe and the United States, we might actually see a return to the dark days of the 1980s when terrorism occurred on a regular basis on our nation's airliners and in our cafes and on our streets. Twice the Iranians have staked out extreme positions and reverse course. One was with regard to the American hostages which they released in 1981 and the second was with regard to agreeing to a ceasefire in 1988 on the Iran-Iraq war without achieving all their declared goals. Now in both cases what happened was the isolation to Iran and the economic costs of Iran's actions had become too great to bear. Khomeini, the Ayatollah who led the revolution, actually got on the radio and said it's like drinking a chalice of poison, but I have to agree to the ceasefire. What diplomats need to do is figure out what cost they can put on Iran to make the Iranian regime drink a chalice of poison. Short of crippling sanctions, the Iranian regime is simply not going to abandon its nuclear ambitions.